Here we go, nice and easy. How's that swing? Pretty good, I think she got this. Okay. That was a good swing. Which end of yours is stronger? I'd say left first swing. Okay. Left first swing. Okay. You see where that ball went? Yeah. You hit all of them there. Okay, just think about it, right? Yeah. Easy. Okay. Yeah, easy. Couple more, are you loose? Yeah. Okay, good. Pretty good swing right there, right? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something you do really well. You keep your eyes under control. Keep them down, you know? Yeah. I like that a lot. In here especially, you should be able to keep them up. You should not have a move on any swing. Unless it's off of Keegan throwing live or me throwing soft toss, where I move it around a little bit, not on purpose sometimes either. Last one. That's your best swing. Okay. One more. That's not your best swing. That's a very nice swing. Okay. You release the bat all the time. Did you just start doing that? Um, like one-handed? Yeah. And I've been doing it for a while. Okay. That's not a one-handed swing. Yeah. Okay? So what I want you to do this time is take a swing and hit the ball, but make sure both hands are out through the ball. You're going to release the bat out there, okay? Right. You like to release it with this hand down here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why you'll hit one ground ball, one line drive, one. You, you're having trouble controlling the barrel. You take both hands and you go out through the ball, okay? Right. Nice and easy. You don't have to swing it hard or something. Just push it on through. Nice. I like that. But see your hand right there? Mm -hmm. I want that hand up in front of your face. All right. Out this way towards the pitcher. Right like that, okay? And do it nice and easy. I don't want you to swing hard. nice. And you know what else is nice there? The speed. Okay? I don't want you to look like you're swinging as hard as you can. Nice and easy. That's better. Focus just on that one hand, okay? All right. Do me a favor. Would you sign that waiver sheet over there? Yep. Yeah. Get that piece of paper, Keegan, and a pen. The one thing here, that, uh, there's two things that are always tough, especially with these young kids, to talk to them about being relaxed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, like, get, are you standing up in there? You mean, like, go ahead, stand up in the box, get ready. Now, there's no picture down there, there's nothing, but it's he, he's charged right now. You know what I'm saying? Right, he's, right. There's tension. Yeah. I would rather see you put the bat on your shoulder and drop that back elbow. Okay, now that looks like a hitter right there, you know? Mm -hmm. Once you get 
uh, you've got about five or six seconds, and if I was a pitcher, I'd make you stand there. Because you're using that tension, yeah, that tension, exactly. that energy is right. draining, right? And after five seconds or so, it's really going to be difficult. Yeah. Okay, another thing. I want your knuckles lined up. Yes. Now, you know why I want them lined up? And it has nothing to do with hitting. I want you to line them up to get that back elbow down. Okay? That's nothing but tension. And the one thing with your swing, and gosh, I see with a lot of these kids and some of them have been doing this for, I mean, they've been in here a lot. They'll go good or they have great swings and all of a sudden the swing's not so great. And what you do is, I love what you do with your feet. Keegan's talked to you a lot about that. Mm -hmm. You do that really, really well. You know what you do with your hands? I don't bring them, I don't bring them. You don't start them. Yeah. You, you have dead hands. And part of it's because your back elbow's up high. I can't do this, but I'll try. If I had my elbow up this high, I can't raise it any higher. So it can't go up, so I can't lower. But it can go one other way, down. And when it drops, I lose the barrel and I hit pop-ups. You know what I'm saying? Or you'll hit ground balls to third. Yeah. That's a big one. So what you're going to do, just for the heck of it, now I don't care if you hold your knuckles lined up, but I care that that back elbow is totally relaxed. All right. Okay, let's see it. Nice and easy. And now raise it, hold it, and maybe back, just for the heck of it. Watch where my barrel goes. I'd like to see you raise it like you just did. But I'd like to see you raise it. See where it is right now? Where is it? It's like kind of... It's right by my head. Yeah. And I raised my elbow, and it came up right to there, okay? See where he has his bat? Mm -hmm. That's a major league emblem. That's why there's a reason they want the bat there. Okay? That's so you can hit the ball and spin the ball and hit the ball hard. Not swing hard. The swing will take care of everything. If I can get my hands there, <coughs> oh, son of a gun, I hit a line drive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I didn't have to think about it because the bat does it. When I've got the bat here by my head, I've got a short swing. I know that I'm going to swing down and out and up. Isn't that how the pros look? Don't they swing out that way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just how you're going to look, okay? Tap your head by the ear. You're not hitting with this hand. All you're doing is throwing and controlling the barrel, okay? So loosen that hand up. Here we go. Ready. Nice. Relax. Now load it up. Oh, that looks nice. Now just flip it out there. I'll take that. I'll take that. You like the swing? Yeah. I'll tell you what I want you to do even. Do it again and stay bent over this way after you swing. After you swing, you can do it off the ball. Go ahead. Load it up. Not so hard, but I want you to what now? Tap your head. Ready. Tap your head by your ear. Ready. Tap your head. Beautiful and swing. And that's about the way it should look every time. Okay. Now this is really important. So I'm going to say it one time. I want you to tap your head by your ear. Are you going to do the game? No. But I don't care if you do. I mean, it's not too bad an idea. But I want it by your ear. All right. I do not want it behind your head. All right. And I don't want it in front of your head. Okay? All right. Here we go. Nice and relaxed. And there's no right or easy, does it? Tap your head. Oh, and just flip it out. And that's just how it should look. Okay? I want you to focus on that. And after you hit the ball, we don't care how good you hit it. That was really good, though. I want you to stay leaning over this way, okay? They do these things a lot of times. They don't even, they don't know they're doing them. Like, the first time he, he tapped his head, go ahead, load it, and push it. See how he's leaning over this way? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Now, if he goes forward or at all and swings, his head's going to be up. That's not, and he'll be, he'll be hitting the net. Right, yeah. That's not yeah. very good. Yeah. Okay.
You're looking good right now, okay? Are you relaxed? Yeah. One thing, make sure, hey, I want you nice and you relaxed. There's no right or wrong, you know? Mm -hmm. But think what you're doing. If you mess up, good. I don't care. Here we go, ready. Easy does it, and push. Do it again. Nice and easy. Push. And push. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boy, his head's good. Keep him there. Push. And push. See how the ball comes off on the line all the time? He should be able to hit 25 balls in the same pattern down on that end right now. You know, and as long as we put them in the same spot. Here we go, nice and easy. Go ahead. Nice. Is that easy? I thought easy. Okay, let's go. Nice. Everything looks really, really good right now. Thank you. You're over the ball. Did you ever talk about that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're over the ball. And that's a pull position. Now, you're not pulling the ball here. But in the game, if you have to, you pull the pitch. But I don't, we don't work on that too much. I'd rather see you swing just like you're swinging now. I call this long out front. I want you to get your hands to this ball what, first, right? And then hit it. Here you go. Push your hands past the ball. Back and push. Okay, a little too quick. When I say quick, what you did is you were striding and swinging at the same time. That's not what we want, right? We want the foot to go down and then the swing, okay? All right. That's Tony's. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Load it easy and push. Beautiful. Do it again. Oh, you look good. Nice and easy and turn and burn. That's the way it should look. And why, you know when I said about tapping your head? Let me have your bat here. Watch this. Just watch my shoulder. Watch my front shoulder. If I'm standing up and looking and I tap my head, where's my front shoulder go? Close. It goes closed one inch and it's down. And that's where yours is. Now this direction here is where I want the swing to go. Okay? I don't want it to go back around. So as soon as I pull my shoulder down and tap my head, that's exactly what you're doing right now. You're swinging that way. You're not coming close to hitting the net behind you. If I really had some Nerve, I'd move this over to here and let you hit. I would not want, I don't want you to hit what? Yeah. No. And you shouldn't. Remember what I said? Nothing at any time should be behind you. Okay? All right. Let's stay up here right now. But that's how nice the swing looks right now. You know, the follow through, really good. <laughs> Back up a couple inches that way. Yeah. Nice and easy, load it, and serve it. Okay, here we go. Too quick. This is strange because we're not talking really about the mechanics. We're talking about the timing of the swing, you know. Get it ready and then use it. Go ahead. And set it and put it. And that's really the most important thing. I mean, Tony never talked about the mechanics. You know, you just yeah. have He'd ask about his back knee. And it's so simple with him. I love talking, yeah. hitting with him. <laughs> it's just Load it and push it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. How was that swing? I like that one. Your timing's so good right there, you hit the crap out of the ball. A lot of result and no effort, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Here you go. Just push your hands out past the ball. Load it and push it. Okay, on the next couple, I want you to put your front foot down. Let's see it. All right. Load it. I want your foot down on the bottom. Right, so like that. I want you to stride like that, okay? Right. I don't want you to stay on the toe. Right. See if you can do that, okay? Back. Yep, 
and swing. And just for the heck of it, I bet it felt terrible, but do me a favor and start working on that, okay? Right. It's a really bad habit these kids get into, putting their foot up like that. Now some of them can work it, some of them can't, but I don't like to see them do it because They'll put it down like that, and then when they go to swing, their heel will drop, and, drops. and they'll go forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We used to have a lot of kids in the minor leagues, and whoa. And once they get used to doing it, it's tough doing it. And the other thing I do here, I pay attention to how wide your feet are. Right. Don't get them too wide, because I want to see good movement in your butt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Nice and easy. Load. Nice. You know, one thing he hasn't done is gone forward all day. Keeps that back? He keep, he's, you're, he's staying behind the ball. That's pretty darn good. Most of these kids will stride and at least go two to three inches out there. Mm -hmm. And you can do it off the tee or in a, against the BP pitcher, you can do it. But once the game starts and they mix up speeds. Yeah. You commit yourself and you're, you're done. Just, yeah. You're going for one speed, and a lot of times that's not the speed they're going to give you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Nice and easy. And turn it and burn it. How do you hit the game? I bring me my Where do you hit most of the balls that you hit? Well, like, once I hit, I push them left uh, second base side. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. On the ground or in the air? Air. Good. I, I like that. I like in the middle of the field. Yeah. Um, in fact, right now, I want you to focus on your follow through. And what you're going to do is push your hands out towards that machine. All right. Okay? And I want you just to see the swing go by your face, okay? Right. Load and push. Wow. I like that swing. Huh? That was a good swing. That's a nice swing right there. I like that. And all you're going to do is watch the swing go what? Out and up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Load it and push it. Keep your eyes where? Down. Yes. That gives you a little longer follow through. Okay? And if your coach says that you can hit the ball further with two hands than you can one, tell them maybe on some pitches. Okay. All right. And then he'll yell at him. <laughs> yeah. He's funny. His his coach, uh, his hitting coach, he said was your hitting coach. Who's that? Um, I can't remember his name. The Steve. His coach is Steve Whitley. He's a, a scout for uh, Pittsburgh for years. And in college, he said that I can't. I can't. I don't know who who you worked with coming up. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember the name. I'll have to ask him. Do that, would you? Yeah. Because the son of a gun would have to be dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is he's He's yeah, older. So. But, uh. Nice and easy. Can you move the bat into your fingers on your top hand? Don't hold it so much so tight in here. Right. And just move it out on your fingers, now grip it. Because all you're using this for, this hand for, is throwing the bat, right? Right. Let's see it. <coughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Do it again. The reason you're underneath the ball, back up a little more. A little more. Okay, go ahead, hit the ball. Nice swing. I'll tell you what, let's go live right now. And then we'll finish up with some soft toss, okay? All right. And the soft toss is going to be easier for you to do things and think about things, but I don't want you to be tired when you hit live. I'd rather you hit live and then do soft toss, okay? All right. Let's fire. Are you fire our energy again? <laughs> You know, you know what amazed me? Um, the person with the softest hands I've ever known is Tony. You know, it just, you know, with all the hitting he did, 
it's just amazing how you know what got me about it was the size of his hand yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah and then i remember one one year we well, one of the first years i was with them we had an old timers game in um shea stadium and we were playing a game with the 1969 new york mets uh -huh. against the orioles when they beat us uh -huh. Tony had his bat there. It's the only bat I could use, and I picked it up. And I went up to I turned around. I had to go back and get a bigger bat. I <laughs> yeah, he had a 30, 33, 30, uh, 33 maybe. Yeah. It was short. Yeah, yeah. It was very light. It was short. Well, it was light. Yeah. But it was too short. You couldn't. I'd say, how in the heck? Now you. How does he reach those outside? Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. When you figure he would stand about like this. And he'd always show it would be one, two, three, three boom. Three circles. Yeah, and yeah. put his foot down. Yeah. And he always would stride across. Well, he would hit pitches off the plate 15 inches up. Yeah. How in the heck can he hit them? Well, it's very easy. If, well, it's not easy. But he would back the ball up to here. Yeah. He'd always He's hit that. He's contact here. He can reach them. Yeah. Now, all these other people that we have and all the other hitters we had, they're going to try to hit it where they see it coming out, uh -huh. and out there. Yeah. If they reach out there, they can't get to it. Yeah, he, he can let that thing get so deep and still. That's it. Yeah. We would go out on the field, yeah. and I'd take a bucket down the third baseline, and he'd stand at the plate with a tee and just toom, 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 mm -hmm. hit those ground balls down the third baseline. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, Keegan. All right. You, you want to know something funny I have? Do you remember a video you did with Steve Finley? A hitting yeah. Video? I have that. Do you <laughs> <Yes>. really? <laughs> yeah, I got it from Mike. I can't, I can't remember. I know who it is. The, the, the he, film man. Yeah, before Mike uh, Tom, uh, Tompkins. Tompkins. Yeah. The, Mike before. He had gray hair. Kind of. I'll remember tell you what. Name. We had a good idea. Yeah. But it just, I mean... God, I sound like I'm in water, you know, uh, and, I'm try, and I'm trying to think about what I'm saying. Right, right. you got to run you through it a couple you times. Run, you got to just whack it off, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, we had uh, some big time people in it. Yeah. I mean, it was nice. Garth Brooks did it for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back it up more than that. Yeah. Here we go. We had good we had good players then. Yeah. Uh, we had good baseball players. We weren't the best team or anything mm -hmm. like that. Right. But um, we were really we everybody knew their job and everybody could do it. Yeah, it's a great clubhouse. Except for Finley. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that. You mentioned him. I saw him like a couple weeks ago. Oh really? Yeah. Last time I saw him was in Del Mar. I ran into him in a, in a Starbucks. He, I mean, he looks great, but. Yeah. I remember before the first playoff game with Randy Johnson, you know, yeah. I was like, yeah, the game's going to be tough. Yeah. yeah. So I said, Finn's the only thing he can't do, he can't pick up a bunt. Mm -hmm. If we get a man on third, hold it, hold it, hold it. How fast are we going to swing? Nice and easy. Yeah, I want it smooth, okay? Right. Here we go. I don't care about the ball. Stand up, right, and turn. And smoke. Put down. I'll take that. <laughs> I honestly don't care. I don't want you doing anything quick. Easy does it. How's that swing? I felt like I went a little bit forward, but other than that, it felt really good. I thought it was a good swing. It jammed you because it was inside. The yeah. follow through was good, and the direction you stayed right with it. There's nothing wrong with that. Nice and easy. Turn. And, okay, boy, oh boy, good really, ball got in, but there's, he hit it good. Where's your head, you know? Yeah, I was looking for Keegan. Okay, you had good head speed that time. Do me a favor right now, I want you to stand up. Right. I don't mean, but I don't want, here's what you're doing a lot of, you know what I mean? How much tension do you think you have here? I want your butt, what, to be, everything's loose. And when you put that foot down, it's gonna be at that speed, right? Yeah. And that's how you're, and, you're follow, and then you're just gonna roll up on the knee. That's not that tough, right? Right. Put your foot down, roll up on your knee. Here we go, ready. Set it down, now. 
I watch all I want to see you swing. I like it when he's relaxed. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the ball. Okay. Load it. Now. Load it. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Trust it now on that one. Huh? I, I trust it now on that one. It's unbelievable when the guy stands down there to throw. All these kids, a golfer, if you gave him a club, they'd always stand here and swing like that. What he wants to do now, he wants to jump at him. Go at the pitcher down there. And that's why those swings are getting long and slow and his head's out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, here's what I, you're going to do. And give me your bat. I want you to just watch this. I want you to just stand up. Your butt's under your head. Just moving easy, and when you start back, you're going to put your foot down. Is it going to stride anywhere? No, you're going to just set it down, right? right? And then just roll over. Okay? You're going to clunk and roll. Okay? All right. And when you turn, you'll generate all the speed you want. There you go. This is a tough one to do. Nice and easy. Turn and set it down. Oh, gosh. Uh, that's all I want you to do. Keep going. Right. And I don't care how much you think. Just do what you're supposed to do. Right. You can think all you want. He likes to spread out. And that's really risky. Turn. That'll work. Are you seeing the ball? Yeah, I'm seeing the ball. Okay, here you go. Then slow, just see, put your foot down and see the ball. Keegan, you got to throw a strike. <laughs> Is he going long with his stride on that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Foot his, up his stride, you see right, hold it, hold it, just a second. See, see where your back knee is right now? Stay there, don't move. See where your back knee is right now? Yeah. It's inside of your back toe, right? Yeah. So if I ask you to pick up your front foot because you're going to have good balance, pick it up. You're not going to be able to stay on your back foot. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. With the knee inside of it. When you go back, your back knee gets over your toe and you put your foot down. I can pick up this foot and balance on this back knee. Now, if I go back and stride out to there, I can't balance anywhere. I'm going to swing a long, slow bat. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to stand up, and that's where your knee is going to go. Point your toe at me. Your back toe pointing it right there. Now you bend that knee over that toe right there. It's easier to bend over the toe if it's pointed that way. Ready. Stand up. Back. And push. How's the swing? That felt pretty good. It was. It was late, and you know what? That's normal because what? How many things are you thinking about? Ten? <laughs> you know what? Keep thinking about them because we don't care about the ball. Ready. Stand up. Point your toe at me. That knee has to come to me. Now. And that's fine. Keep going. One thing he does really good, he uses his back leg. Pretty good. Load. And he gets a swing out front. And that's tough to do. Throw a little harder. I want you to take this pitch. Now, do you take a pitch, I want you to get ready and just let it go by, okay? All right. Get ready. Take another one. Is this strike still long? Kind of long? It's still long. He's, anytime, he, see, he should not be eating up. Just for the heck of it, I want you to stride straight to the plate. Okay. Let me see how it looks. It's only two inches right at the plate. Ready? Load. Wow. That's where you want to go in a couple inches. Just a couple. Four, six. 
That's, See that, that that's one not long. bad, but it's longer. Yeah. I'll tell you what we can do, and I, I, it's a drill, but it's really not a drill. It's the easiest way to generate a real swing. Turn it. Dead arm. <laughs> Long start. I'll tell you what, here's, here's what we're going to do right now because he's not throwing strikes either. But <laughs> give, me a, give me a bat. Watch my foot. Watch this foot. And here's what I want you to do I want you to get comfortable, not wide, comfortable. And you're going to, when you load, you're going to roll back on this knee. Okay? You see that? Yeah. You've done that before, I bet. Okay? Roll back on this knee, it's heel to toe. You're on your toe, now you're gonna go on this toe to hip, right? right? So that's all it is, it's just boom, boom, okay? No stride. And you should generate all the bat speed you want. I'd sure like to see it. Can you make it look like that? Yeah. Same speed, we don't care about the ball. Turn. Turn. That's all I want to see. Let's go. This is what we're going to do. Huh? He's stable at the end. He's, he, well. He's not jumping around. At the end. I would sure like to ask him. I'm not going to ask him to pose. How's the swing? I'm going to my toe. Uh, you're okay, right? Yeah. Those are your shoes, Hey, right? let me tell you what. Just keep going. And, and, and you know what? Slow it down. You don't have to go fast, right? Yeah. Here's... We used to have pictures up, and I was telling you, Dad, that you use your leg good. All these major league hitters use one thing. They're always up here when they swing, right? Yeah. Well, if you think about it, they can only turn their leg that fast. It doesn't go any faster. Yeah. So that's the speed their hands have to go. Yeah. That speed. Now, they'll generate bad speed out here when you hit against a firm front side. But all the coaches want you to try to generate hand speed. That means your hands are going to be going fast and your legs are going to be going slow. That's Just a little tough to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's stupid. <laughs> so all I want you to do is stand there and go one and a two. And do it to the, just think to yourself, one and two. Not really any harder. Let's see it. Take a practice swing. Back. And push. That's the speed. Do it again. Back. Did you see the ball good? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Back. A couple more. How's it feel right now? Interesting. It feels different. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Your mom mentioned your balance. You look really good right now. Thank you. And just for the heck of it, the reason I don't like to say that, I'd like to have kids pose if I think they can slow down. Um, when you take your swing, if you can stay on balance, I don't care how you hit the ball, you're posing, you know, like you were taking a picture of you. Yeah. And think about that. Nice and easy. Here we go. Indoors, they should be able to do it. Outside, it'd be tough. I mean, that's how it should kind of look. Nice and easy, and that's all you're going to do. When I soft toss to him, I'll soft toss to him 20, 30 balls. Okay, in fact, let's pick him up. I'm going to soft toss. He should be able, I'll have him close on everyone, because I will give him pitches that will be... Down low and right where he wants them, you know. Mm -hmm. right. It should be a lot easier. That's tough to do, isn't it? A little bit. Is it tough to have ten things on your mind and hit the ball? Kind of. Slow <laughs> <laughs> back. We used to tell these players, this couple of players from Texas. I used to coach for the Oakland A's. Yeah. I knew them all. Yeah. And the minors, and I'd have our catcher say to him, Mike. Merv wants to know why you're holding your hand so high. It just looks uncomfortable. <laughs> and the kid, kid, and they weren't high. <laughs> and the next day, uh, G. Mock was their manager, uh -huh. 
he was a little upset, you know. He said, <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. It's going to be the same. It's just going to turn and go back nice and easy, okay? All right. Are your hands okay? Yeah. You wear gloves usually? Um, sometimes. If I'm a blister, I wear gloves, but I don't have any Let me see your hand. Do you have a blister now? No. I just have houses. Well, that's good. Do you ever shave? No, I don't. Okay. Now this is, this is much easier, right? Yeah. And that's all. I want you to stand up about that height. And all you're going to do is what? Go up. And, oh, just like that. And then roll back. That's all you're going to do right there. Holy moly. Let's see it again. Go up. And down. Okay? Woo, doggy. How's his back leg look? Very nice. That would be perfect. Ready. Go up and down. Here we go. Up and down. How's that swing? Good. Yeah, how's the pitch? It was a wall. It was? Uh huh. It was a good strike. <laughs> I mean, our umpires are. Oh, and forget it. I know that. <laughs> Here we go. Ready. Up and down. This is how it should look, and he should do hours of this. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's so good, well, we have a kid coming in, he'll be playing today in this game up there, and he's really, he's, he's going to Vanderbilt. Oh, yeah. Nice. They're the, one of the top in the, in the deal. And I don't want you to see him, because I'm telling you to swing slow. If you see <laughs> <laughs> it's a, he swings a little harder, you know, yeah. but he's done it for a long time and he can control it. Yeah. But um, all I want you to do is be nice and easy with this swing right now, right. okay? And what I, here's why this is important. When I throw pitches on the outside corner, I want you to hit it. All right. I don't care where. You can hit it to left, center, or right. When I throw pitches in here, do you think you can take them? Like, to just take them. Try. Now, if you do, you do. If you don't, what? You don't. Okay, and that's what I want to do. But I want to know where all these balls are going to be hit. Mm -hmm. And that's when we know when his swing is good. You gotcha. Know? Yeah. Here you go, kiddo. Up. See, if you watch the balls he hits, he'll hit the bottom of the ball just when he's doing it like that right there. And that's good. Ready. Load and hit. The arc. That's an excellent swing. Thank you. Up. How's the swing? I thought we had it's all the same. Every swing is going to be the same. Up. Does it matter where you hit it? No. Okay. You're just taking a swing up and down, ready, and up and That back leg is about as good as you can get it, and that's all I care about. Uh, are you tapping your head? Yeah, well, like, not popping it, but I'm getting really close to it. Perfect, perfect. Are you relaxed? Yeah. You sure look good. Thank you. Okay, up and down. Here we go, just keep going. Up. Now, you know why you missed that? I was late on it. <laughs> he was late. You know why you were late? Say let it late. I threw it hard. Okay? Right. That ball was thrown very hard. I didn't mean to, but I fired. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> you took the same swing. And that's why a lot of times you the guys will be down on themselves for a bad swing. It's not a bad swing. That was a bad throw. Here we go. Ready. Up and down. That was nice. Huh? That was nice. How about the sound? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're, you're getting a lot of result because you're taking the same swing 
and you're not really swinging as hard as I'm, you know, you swing the same speed. Yeah. I'm going to mix up speeds on you. It doesn't matter to you. You take the swing, right? Mm -hmm. If you hit it good, if it's a little by, you're good. I think you're going to hit almost all of them. I don't think I can throw them any by you. You know what I'm saying? Because right now he's getting bat speed, not body speed. Right, right. That one right there, that slows the bat right down to zip. You look really good standing there. Thank you. Here we go. Ready. Up. Beautiful. You know where that pitch was, right? Low. That's nice hitting right there. Thank you. Remember the pitch on the outside corner I said hit? Yeah. That's right on the outside corner. Nice hitting. This pitch has got to be hit. Five in a row that he swung right on the button. That's. Do you have a coach that can throw soft toss to you at all? I think that's big. Yeah. I think that's really big. Mm -hmm. And every ball I would like down, in and out, but okay. mostly, mostly out. Out. Mostly out. I don't like the inside pitches, and I, I threw one right there to hit. I couldn't believe he hit. <laughs> and it was, you know, he thinks they're good, and that's not what we want. Right. Because he can't hit in and out. Yeah. And they're going to throw most of the pitches away. Right. And the umps are going to call them. Right. Nice job. How are your hands? Are they holding up? Yeah, that's fine. I'll tell you what, you're good right there. Thank you. And do me a favor, just for the heck of it. Right now, stay with just up and down. Right there and right there, okay? Right. You don't need that other stuff right now. All right. You can always add it. We have um, double taps, guys that double back and then forward, you know, boom, boom. Yeah. But they can't go boom and right. boom. We have guys that lift their leg. I like that, but boy, is that a, that's tough. That's a tough one. Yeah. But I thought he looked really good Perfect. right there. Mm -hmm. here. And he is done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Be careful there. I really like um, watching these kids because you never ever know, you know what I mean? You see one kid, mm -hmm. we've had, well we'll have a kid today, um, when he was nine, he was unbelievably good. Uh, I mean, he was really, yeah. he hasn't improved that much, you know, I mean, it's, he's stronger. Mm -hmm. But when he was nine, he was strong. Oh, gotcha, yeah. And he could come in here and pound our BP pitchers. And he was nine. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Say. <laughs> and then they'd throw the curveball, <laughs> one in a hundred, and he hit it. He didn't know. Well, that's I seen a lot of kids. You know, they get they get that home run swing, kind of that that power swing, and then as soon as they hit, you know, that that level where they're seeing live, you know, live pitching, live pitching and the stuff's moving. It's you know. Well, here here's the whole thing. Like, if you watch all those swings, you watch them, 
And the one thing he did really good, he kept his eyes mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. And that's how you hit the high pitch too. Yeah. And that's why he missed the high pitch. And I knew he was getting tired because he probably should have hit it because his eyes are down. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hit the high pitch with your eyes up. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't want to swing when you're tired because your mechanics start. Oh, then he'll, he'll just you know what? Then it'll get shaky. On right. It. Then you have to swing hard, and yeah. then really bad. Yeah, yeah. But everything he was doing in there was pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what he. All he has to do is load up uh -huh. and do that over and, right. over, and right. over and over again. Gotcha. Yeah. And I think he can. And I mean, you have to do it to the point that it's boring. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it is. That's yeah. why every every time I mention tea work, he's like, yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> but it's you know, you should go out uh, off the tee yourself mm -hmm. and put the ball on the outside corner and put it even with this foot right here. So if you're standing like this, right there, put the tee on the outside corner and just stand there and take that swing with your eyes right there on the ball and hit them all right in this other corner. Mm -hmm. And you go down there and pick them all up, you know, right yeah. they, they should be right there. All together. Yeah. yeah. All together. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the way, that's the way I would think it should be. Yeah. And that's the way it is with most of the guys. Yeah. When you know you have a guy that can't do it at the big league level, you know you're up there. <laughs> uh -oh. Because they're going to, the good pitching will kill them. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we've had enough number number of those guys down there. Yeah. God. <laughs> now it's using the MLB that they only swing for power, and if you give them you give them a like a strike that's like moving, they can't hit it because they're all like in the same spot. Like they keep power swinging in the same spot. Like oh, I'll tell you what, you you're, you're right on some of that. They can't hit off speed yeah. pitches yeah. because they're swinging way too hard. And what they're doing is remember when you, you keep your head down, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he's like that swing is designed. It's going to be down and up. But you know he's swinging down because his eyes are down. Right. down. Yeah. He can't swing up with his eyes there, you right. know? Because right, you, you gotta, you gotta it, go yeah. this way. Right. And That's why I up. see a lot of the current hitters, like it's especially on the Padres doing do right that. now. They're, I mean, even on a, you know, two strike pitch, pitch they're you can't do pulling, it. you know, they're not adjusting it. I, and they're going to be the worst hitting team in the league. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. Right now, the, the, well, Matt Stairs was. I don't. You know, I don't know. If he's don't he was know. a power hitter. He, yeah, I don't know. What, but he had an unconventional swing. You know, it, it worked for him. But the, 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 well, he was a utility player. Right. He was. A, now yeah. that's you can do some tricky stuff when you're a utility player. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. the one year here when I pinch hit like a hundred times. Yeah. And it was it saved my career. Yeah. Because I made me a regular. I was out there every day playing. You right, know? right. But I learned a lot of things, that, you know, doing that. I said, hey, if I'm going to do it, I have to hit a fastball. Mm -hmm. Well, at the beginning of the season, I, my timing was still good, so I could hit a curveball. Mm -hmm. But once I couldn't hit the curveball, I said, oh, my God, if they throw me a fastball, you better hit it. You know? <laughs> yeah, take advantage. It didn't matter where it is. Uh, if they threw it and I saw it, I was swinging. Yeah, yeah. It could be high. Because even if I missed it, at least I swung and I'm loose. Yeah, right. You know yeah. what I mean? These guys, they'll, they'll take pitches that are right there. The other day, the Yankee pitcher, the big guy that was throwing the ball, oh, my God, he throws good, too. Mm -hmm. Spathia? Who? Uh, the was a big Spathia. Dominican. Set it right up. That's what it was. <clears throat> he, you know, he got the first two guys out on ground ball, fly ball, and then he struck seven out in a row. Hmm. Yeah, he get 11 that day. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> yeah, he got 11 that day. Jesus, yeah. every pitch was just... Two strike one, yeah. fastball strike two, high fastball strike three, yeah. next hitter get yeah. on. Yeah. He was just playing catch. It yeah. helps that he can reach 102 on his fastball. I remember seeing him in the postseason last year, and he was reaching 102 against the Astros. And they killed him. <laughs> I think I don't think it was him. I, that game was uh, really close. That game was a better, better one. I think it was Sabathia that they killed. No, they. I'll tell you what they did the second time they saw him. They lit him up. Yeah, saw it. it was a miracle. I, I sat there and couldn't believe it. But every ball he threw that day was up and out over the plate. Mm -hmm. And they can hit that a little late. Yeah. Yesterday, when he got it up, it was up. And when he got it away, it was away. And every once in a while, he'd throw it in. Well, they're not going right, to right. hit yeah, that. Yeah. So. Well, cool. Anyway, let us know how you're doing. Mm -hmm. Let Keegan know for sure. All right. Sounds good. We <clears throat> were whacking. 
Thanks. And I'll tell you what, right now, I will not do any live BP until I've done quite a bit of this. Okay. Because this will just groove it in. This will make right, it easy. Right. This will give you the speed. Yeah. You actually swung easier on that than you did off live. Mm -hmm. And you crashed it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's your timing. That's all that is, is timing. Mm -hmm. That you were getting it ready early and slow. I hate when he put, picks up his foot right now mm -hmm. because the first move is yeah, for, yeah. fast. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when you stand in the batter's box, nothing can be fast. Mm -hmm. It's just everything moves. Fluid. He, yeah. Well, like Tony. Yeah, yeah. Or remember Wally Joyner? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He had, he had such a smooth swing. Who? Wally Joyner. I saw him in one of the postseason games. I think it was one against the Dodgers when they were down by seven, and that first term run he had it was just a nice. Well, that's when, they, we clen when we clenched in 90, 98. Yeah. That was a hell of a series. Yeah. And he had that, just that nice, easy swing and just took it. Yeah. We, let me t tell you about how easy the swing was because with all well, this drill right here, soft toss. Every day Wally would do soft toss. And he, oh, he was, but he's a lefty, and they yeah. all look smooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I could soft toss to Wally Joyner, and this is not negative. When he hit it, I could see the ball. He would get his hands past the ball, and then the barrel would catch the ball, and he'd hit it. You could see the ball go on the barrel. Huh. And that's, that's how I knew he was really right on the button. You know, I wouldn't say much. Mm -hmm. Go get him. That's all. That's, that was it. We get to the World Series that year. I'm soft tossing to him and I can't see the ball go to the barrel. I said, how are you feeling today? He said, my shoulder's killing me. Mm -hmm. He's swinging hard. Uh -huh. He can't swing slow. He hit a ball in Yankee Stadium. It was 296 down the line. Mm -hmm. Didn't go out. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's yeah, that's you're, the, you're bad, you're bad. Yeah, yeah. And that's when I knew the World Series we were in trouble. Yeah, yeah. We had six guys hurt. Yeah. But you're right. He was so slow and so smooth. That means that He's getting ready early. He's going to see the ball, mm -hmm. and he's going to put the barrel on the ball all the time, just yeah. like Tony. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and he, Tony was like that. It was a contact hitter, but then in the World Series, when he, when he hit that bomb at Yankee Stadium, that one. We learned to really turn on that. I remember him talking about his conversation with, with Ted. Ted. With Ted. But the thing is, on that pitch, I was uh, Mike that game, and the first thing I said when the catcher moved inside, uh -huh. I said, "This ball's going uptown." <laughs> Because yeah. Wells struck him out in spring training at Qualcomm. Yeah, I remember. Oh, the, the uh, same pitch. The preseason game. Pre right. game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was raining that yeah, night, raining. and they had to use the pitchers quick. And Tony went up and swung at one and looked like a fool. I'd never seen him look bad on an inside pitch. Yeah. And that was the same pitch. He, you could throw it 100 miles an hour here, and he he, he barreled it. And yeah. he, I mean, he, well, he could barrel anything. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <coughs> If he could see it, mm -hmm. Randy Johnson, he couldn't see. It. Yeah. <laughs> that double in, in, in Houston oh, yeah, was just that. amazing. It was pure luck. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, what, throw that bat out there. It wasn't against uh, Randy Johnson. It was, when, it was yeah. like you no, know, when he caught when he like he was about to throw a pitch and then it was got like the rain had to get uh, rain postponed the game and then he called the exact pitch that he was gonna. Oh, hit throw. the next time when they yeah. when they started. Yeah, up again. and he like called exactly where it was gonna be. Yeah, I guess. slider or something. Slider, like a slider. He's gonna throw me this, this, and this, and I can't remember. You know what though? And when he would say stuff like that, it was stupid because he couldn't follow through with it. <laughs> he really yeah, yeah. because here's what would happen. Tony, if he had a thought, like if if we if we picked up one time, we had no more. Yeah. They had all his pitches. Uh -huh. God, they were dead, too. Beautiful. They could call the game for him. I mean, when he picked up his thing and he stuck his hands back behind him, you could see white, it was a fastball. If you didn't see white, it was a split. Yeah. And the idea is, don't swing at the split. Mm -hmm. Just let it go, yeah. Well, we ended up hitting two homers off the split and nothing off the fastball <laughs> and got beat. But Tony, if we knew that, didn't want to know it because he would always say, I just see the ball and hit the ball. It's getting too much in your it's head. It's too then. much in the head. In yeah. fact, when I was coaching down in Atlanta, they said, how do we pitch them? I said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have Javi Lopez, our catcher, tell him the pitches. <laughs> what? 
Well, they've got three starters. They had Glavin, Maddox, and Schmoles. Huh, no, he he no. was hitting 370 total off all off three. All he can't hit any better if we tell him the pitches. <laughs> right. And that's the true. killer is it'll give him something to think about. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's hilarious. So did it work? Well, the thing is, uh, Javi Lopez wouldn't do he it. He wouldn't do it. <laughs> he said, I can't do that. He said, what about the, you know, the umpire would say, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> it's mind games. They wouldn't even understand that. You know? Funny. But well, but it would I, we yeah. had a better chance. <laughs> yeah, we, we just yeah. saw Maddox at the San Diego State uh, yeah. Las Vegas game. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a he's the he's uh, a pitching coach. yeah pitching coach. Kind Who of is Greg Greg Maddox? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean it Greg or it's Greg, not Mike. Oh, it's Greg. Yeah, he's his son yeah. is pitching for yeah. um, his son is pitching for uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been better if Tony was there. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you 